Now in this video tutorial what I would like to do is to just go through and uh, do some minor edits. Uh, keep in mind that once, as I've mentioned in previous video tutorials, once you've taken the time and effort to create the way that you want, for example, your listing, new listing web page to look like. Once you've got that laid out, you know what information you're going to utilize. What you're going to want to do is you're going to, for example, want to copy that and reuse it over and over again. So you may very well find yourself in an editing mode when you're adding a new listing. So when I go down here, I'm just going to take a look at the preview of what I have. Take a look at some of the information. As I can see that uh, I said that I had an eight, a seven car garage here, but I have an eight car garage up here. I think there's a difference in the bathrooms. So what I'm going to do is just make uh, a couple changes to it. And then what I want to do is publish it so that you see what the publishing process, how it really works. And I think I've done this before, but I'll do it again. So I'm going to go back in here. And I'm so that I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and hit the maximize button and I'm just going to take a look at what I have. So it says this home has 10 bedrooms and how many bedrooms? Well that's okay. This has nine. Okay so I believe that what is correct here is that this information is more accurate. Right, wait a minute I think this information is more accurate so I'm going to change this to nine as far as bathrooms go. And uh, in fact I think actually it's nine and a half baths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put half bath and I think I need to go down here and put uh, one half. And let me see whatever else I so I got ten bedrooms, a bath, El Dorado Hills, I got an eight car garage, got seven car garage here. I think it's actually eight. So we're going to go ahead and put an eight. But the point here is that I've gone in here and made some edits. I could do any kind of text editing in here that I want, change the price, add some more stuff. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the, if you will, the first mode. And I'm going to go up to a preview and take a look at it. And it looks pretty good. Uh-oh, I see that I have some mistakes here. So uh, one thing when I'm doing this, I want to see what's happening here. So right after the home, that's where this dropped down. So I'm going to go in here. And you're going to find this will happen if you just change, just because I put this in, it pushed the text a little bit over to the right. So uh, what I've got to do is I've got to go ahead in here and bring this text up. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go into my full screen mode so I can see what's happening. And uh, this home, so I'm going to go in here, I'm going to just press hold the uh, shift key down with my left hand and hit the enter key. And that's important so that I have just one line in between and then press the delete key. And now I'm going to go back in again. And you're going to find yourself going back and forth, back and forth, taking a look at it. What well, does it look okay? Okay, that worked. And again, keep in mind that the way the editor shows it and the way that it shows on the web pages can be and in many cases different. So you want to get used to this, do a preview, see what it looks like, look at where the changes need to be made, go back and forth until you get it. They call these things WYSIWYG editors, which is what you see is what you get. Um, that works okay when uh, the application has full control of it, say for example Microsoft Word does when they're making Word documents, but in this case you're dealing with a lot of other things. You're dealing with web browsers, different kinds of tools, um, so you really kind of want to go back and forth until you get it the way that you want it. Uh, let me see, a car garage, so we're okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here to the edit. I'm done, I'm happy with the way it looks, and I'm going to go ahead and pub publish it. So when I click the publish button, you'll see a little animation take place, and this button's going to turn from publish to update. So you'll see that little gray animation, and then it turns to update. So that means it's published now. It's officially published. If I want to make any changes to it, I go back in, go through the same process I did before, but in this case, instead of publish, I just say update. So with this, we've covered how you actually go in, make some minor changes to your page. Remember that you want to set up your page, go through the process of setting up, if you will, a template, for the lack of any other word, just the way you want it to look. And then in future tutorials, we'll actually just go in here and show you how to take the one uh, web page that you have and change the information out and create a brand new page. And uh, we'll be doing that in future tutorials.